Yusuf alayhi salam, his brothers plotted against him for years. And what did they do? They wanted to drop him. They put him into the well. They don't know what happened thereafter. Some time later, literally decades later, they entered this place. He recognized them. He did whatever he did. One day when they came back and he questioned them. And what did he say? He said, I am Yusuf. This is my brother. You, whatever you guys did was wrong, man. He just said, I am Yusuf. This is my brother. Allah has favored us. Look at this. When someone plans your downfall, perhaps that is the path of your success. Perhaps that is the exact door through which you are going to get success. So take it in your stride. Don't worry. You did your dua. You're close to Allah. You have sabr and taqwa. You are thanking Allah for what he's blessed you. You cannot go wrong. Negatives don't happen to a believer. A believer is only in a positive situation. If goodness comes in his direction, he's thankful to Allah and humble. And if something negative does come in the direction of a believer before he actually suffers negative consequences because he bears sweet beautiful patience Allah converts it into an act of reward that deserves an unlimited recompense unlimited that's Allah sabr you made sabr you had a problem yes sabr how long is the sabr a month, two months, a year, two years, 10 years, 20 years. Yusuf alayhi salam, 30 years, 40 years. One day he said, my brothers, guess what? Allah favored me over you. Allah has raised, uh, raised me above you. Straight. What was their whole plan? Let's drop him below us. Did they succeed? In fact, that was the plan Allah used to raise them, to raise him above them. Subhanallah. And then he says, Bring my father along. The father comes. And when they see the father, everyone's excited. And you know, the interpretation of the initial dream of the sun and the moon and the 11 stars. And here is Yusuf alayhi salam. And he's saying, Oh Allah, you have blessed me with kingdom. You have blessed me with so much. Did he blame his brothers? No, he didn't. Guess what he says? وَقَدْ أَحْسَنَ بِي إِذْ أَخْرَجَنِي مِنَ السِّجْنِ وَجَاءَ بِكُمْ مِنَ الْبَدُ مِنْ بَعْدِ أَنْ نَزَغَ الشَّيْطَانُ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ إِخْوَتِي He's mentioning the favor of Allah upon him and his brothers and he's telling his brothers as well that Allah has favored me. Subhanallah. In what way? Allah has done good to me. Allah was so kind to me. That's what Yusuf is saying to whom? To his brothers, to his father, to those who were around. Qad bi. Allah favored me when he took me out of the prison. Notice he didn't concentrate on going into the prison. He's concentrating on how he came out of the prison. That was more important. You know, when you suffer a loss, and suddenly you come out of it. You thank Allah. Oh Allah, I thank you for helping me out of my problem. You don't ever sit and say, Oh, I had a problem. You know, one day I fell. You know, one day I fell. If you're going to keep doing that, you're going to be depressed. Don't look at those negatives. They're gone. You bore sabr. It was not a negative. That sabr was an act of worship. That sabr is an act of worship only given to those who are believers. Who believe in Allah. You notice? Sabr is an act of worship given as a gift by Allah to those who believe. If Allah has given you an opportunity to bear sabr, it's only because He loves you and you're a believer. That's why. If you've had that opportunity and you bore the sabr, good news to you. So He says, well, Allah favored me when He took me out of the prison. وَجَاءَ بِكُمْ مِنَ الْبَدُ And, and he, he brought all of you from the desert. He brought you all here. After shaitan had spoiled the relationship between us. Who spoiled the relationship? Who was it? Shaitan. I see Birmingham is a bit rattled. Who spoiled the relationship? Shaitan. 
how beautiful a man this was he tells his brothers look you guys almost killed me no problem it was shaitan we are still brothers we love each other it's okay come I'll, I'll, I'll deal with you guys I'll help you guys I'll do whatever I have to you get what you want don't worry I'm here today relax whatever happened happened it's over do you know why it was over let me quickly give you one reason but there are so many one reason is he realized very quickly as a believer and a prophet of Allah that that was part of the plan of Allah had it not been for the initial throwing into the well he, they wouldn't have been the ending the way it was so he says it's okay whatever happened was part of the plan of Allah but Instead of waiting for the day of judgment, you know what we would say in our communities here? And I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Your brother would come crying to ask forgiveness from you after years, even a year, two years. He say, no, on the day of Qiyamah, I'm going to fix you. Am I right or wrong? I, we wait for Qiyamah. I'm not, I don't want to talk about it. It's okay. You've done a lot. Let's wait. Allah will be the judge. We wait for the day of judgment. How many times have we heard that say, being said? Haven't we? Sometimes we say it. We say, no, I'm going to wait for the, I want my right and I'm going to catch you on the day of judgment. I've heard people say this. I'm going to catch you on the day of judgment. Hey, when you get to the day of judgment, you might not know who's right and who's wrong. It might just be the other way around. You say, no, it can't be. It might just be. Don't leave it for that day. It's better for you to say, you know what? You really are remorseful. You really are sorry. No problem. It's okay. I will forgive, but I won't forget. I will forgive, but I won't forget. Why won't I forget? I won't forget because I need to remember what you did to me so that I'm not bitten from the same source two times because a believer is never bitten twice from the same source. However, there comes a stage in the life of a human being when Allah makes you forget it. Sometimes things have happened 20 years ago. You've forgotten it. You didn't want to forget it. Allah made you forget it. So that's a blessing. So Yusuf salam concentrated on the positive. With us, wallahi, we would tell people, I'm going to fix you. I'm holding it against you. I'm this. Let's try and do away with that. We don't need to interact too much with someone we've forgiven if we fear that perhaps it might be repeated. I can tell you, listen, brother, I forgive you, but that's okay. I don't need to have much dealing with the same brother again. Not that I haven't forgiven, but it's just me. I'm a human. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness.